Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, bit adventurers. I'm Jake Smith, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and unboxing channel, where today we have a Whitestone in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Now, you might be wondering, Spins, why are you starting on a Whitestone? It's because Wario and Waluigi have a tracker for a Whitestone. Wait, Spins, you got Wario and Waluigi and Daisy too? Yes, that's right. If you didn't know that, you missed the previous episode, and and now you you should you should go back, and you, you should see that because it was it was a fun episode. Very fun. I give it an A plus, and it only took me 30 minutes to record, as opposed to an eternity. So that was nice. But either way, though. I figured since I got the white stone, I would at least show you guys that I got it and where it was. Not that this is going to be a full tutorial of where to get all of this stuff. I just figured I would be nice, basically. But we are going to be a little less nice because we're not actually going to save you guys from cutting this content out. And we're actually just going to walk all the way back to the ice wall. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. Mario incoming, and it's time for a good old microwave. And that microwave is presented by the Fancy Blizza. Honestly, it does sound like a like a stage performer. Very much a singer. I I don't know why. I'm thinking like Iggy Azalea. For some for some reason. And I thought I thought her name was Izzy. Maybe Izzy is a different singer. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not up to date on my hip hop song culture. Anything from like 2000s, 2010s for pop, I'd probably know. But after that point, I just I become grandpa mode when it comes to music. Like, I don't want any of this new fangled music. Oh god, I gotta be careful. I've been doing a lot of toad voice and a lot of different voices, and my throat is hurting. And trying to do that just was awful. Oh. My Ega. O M Ega. It's Omega! Hi, buddy! Hi! How you doing? Guy who still doesn't have a plush and isn't getting a GE plush, but we are getting like Mephilus and Emerald and Whisper and Eggman. So cool. So super cool. Anyway, though, back to the game. Intruders detected. Leave at once. Yipes! Is that one of Eggman's robots? Negative. I am Omega. Dr. Eggman is my enemy. Doesn't that make you our friend then? Eggman's our enemy too. That is unverified. You are not authorized to pass. You must beat me at intense short track. Only then will it prove that you have no connection to Eggman. Oh no, this must be because I tried to date Metal Sonic through text. I knew that would bite us in the butt. God dang it, Toad. See, he's not helping and now he's being a nuisance. He's being a blockade, guys. <sighs> Fine, whatever, we'll beat Omega. Perfect square. Guys, look, it's, it's Station Square. Anyway, though, who shall fight Omega? Now, we do have quite a few people, but uh, to be honest, I'm not really feeling much confidence, but... The best person to fight him would be the guy who wants to find the computer room. Why? Because it's Vector, and it just works. I would choose Wario, but it's speed skating, and I don't feel like it's worth it. I would choose Shadow, but it's, it's, I'm trying to be a little bit different. All right, Vector, it's time for you to shine. And if you don't shine here, then I will literally trash you as a character and choose somebody else. I'll replace you for the speed skating team. That being said, though, Omega definitely is going to know what he's doing, mainly because it's Omega. 
Oh, dude. I will say, though, his dash is actually really cool where he sings. He sings to the screams of his enemies and then slides. Wait, did Omega just jump? <gasps> no, it's a pit! Oh, God. The robot set a death trap for me and I didn't notice because I'm too much of a derp. Trying to make jokes. Well, I'm hoping I can do this. I can't if I keep messing up like this, though. That's not what I wanted! Crap! Vector has no heart, guys. He's the tin crocodile. Move, man, move! Do your job! This is not going well. I also hit left, and he decided not to go left. Oh. Son... Of a bee. <laughs> we didn't actually try to do this before, and it's getting cut out because I had the screens wrong. No, 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 that, no. No, see, it, uh, it's just that Vector had a bad salad, and he had to go to the bathroom, and, um, then he wanted to restart. That's not what I wanted to do! Yeah, remember that, me that moment when I, I was mentioning about the fact that um, this game's controls are trash. I'm hitting right. I'm telling. Right, you don't you don't mash for for that part of it. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. Stop getting stuck on walls. Okay. Apparently, Vector was a terrible choice. I figured he is a crocodile, and he is a slippery fellow, so he should be relatively good on like land and stuff. But apparently not. Apparently he is awful at land. And it doesn't even matter. He got stuck in the pillar. He got stuck. Okay, we're still a little bit behind Omega. So it's fine. We can still find the computer room. You were you were mid-turn, dude! Omega Omega just died. What? Why did you Because of the hitbox. <laughs> because of the side hitbox, we had to stop sliding into the thing. We had an advantage. We had an advantage. Come on, game. Come on now. That was just rude. No, no. I did not see that pit until it was physically too late for me to actually see it. On the bright side, at least we're not the only ones falling. Again, I didn't see the pit. Okay, it literally magnets you into the pit. That's dumb. Where did you come from? And don't say your mother. Why? Because holes don't have moms. Well, now that we've executed Vector, Yes, with extreme hatred. We now have to choose a different character. Who's that character? Maybe somebody fitting more thematically in who won us the last time. Shadow, I believe in you. You know what you're doing. You're the ultimate life form. And apparently you want to fist fight with Omega? Okay, well, I guess double correction boost works too. How are we still in first? The world may never know, but also I'm scared but about being on this bus. Very, very scared. But yeah, okay. So pro tip for this that I just found out. Do not play as a large boxed character. Also, don't trust in flat surfaces on a 3DS. And cool. I mean, I guess I knew Omega could fly, but also that, that does kind of suck in this moment. But yeah. Had that been Vector, Vector actually would have gotten physically stuck. Do you see on some of these turns how Omega is getting just weirdly stuck in very weird places? Yeah, it's because he physically can't go past those without his own collision going onto a collision course with the hitbox. Which, yes, is as sad as it sounds. Because that means that in any of these speed games, 
you should only play as speed characters who also are basically thin. So like Sonic, Shadow, Blaze, Amy, and that's like it, apparently. You might be able to get away with characters like Tails, maybe Knuckles. Shadow, that's a pillar. You you are not supposed to do that to pillars. I, I feel like you could be taken to court for that, and um, I feel like there's some public indecency laws in there somewhere. About shoving your chest onto a pillar in a very weird and romantic way. Anyway, though. Now that we're done talking about Shadow's love for a blue ship, this is a weird, this is a weird playthrough. Honestly, I'm tired. This is the third, this third one in a row. It's fine. It's fine. Shep, why are you gravitating towards the hole? Do not gravitate towards holes. Things we've learned in this episode. Holes don't have mothers and don't gravitate towards holes. Words to live by. Words that uh, Vector did not live by and he was executed for. Also, why in the middle of this have they now basically changed it to be a splash screen to win and first? I'm not doing that. I'm not making these graphics. That's the game. Unless I've just been skipping this and not noticing it. Because usually we get this. There's also just something beautiful about Shadow just going like, hmm, in front of a corridor on Daisy Cruiser. I cannot face Eggman now. Does not compute. Wait, but... Were you reprogrammed, buddy? Were you reprogrammed? That's the only explanation for this right now, because honestly... Honestly, you, you hate Eggman. Maybe you could tell us what the problem is, Omega. I transported to Blitzland to defeat Eggman. But Eggman gave one condition before he would accept my challenge. Stop Mario and Sonic from intruding. I have failed. Does not compute. What? Omega, where are you going? I left the oven on. I didn't know he ate food. It's uh, concerning a little bit. Well, I guess there's still only one thing that we can do. Question our existence. And also lead the spot so we can try to defeat Eggman. <laughs> Toad doesn't care about Bowser, though. Interesting. Now, I am curious if there's going to be three checkpoints here. Maybe one fighting Eggman, another fighting uh, Bowser or something. And you know, I wish that I knew about the stone thing, because if I did, I probably wouldn't have gone through so much hell and high water trying to find more of them. Oh, it's a shy guy. Whistles. Why does that shy guy look happy with himself? Toad, some people have happiness. It's a natural emotion that people actively have. Just because you don't have it doesn't mean this dusty shy guy can't. Tra la la, I won't squeal. It's our little secret. I won't tell us so. Why does that sound like he committed a crime? <laughs> Waluigi always knows your little secret. Sorry, I didn't think that would be so gross when I read it like that. What? How did you find out about the secret room in Cuberinth? There's no way you could have found it on your own. Oh, so there's a secret room in Cuberinth, hmm? That sounds pretty interesting. Wait, when did Waluigi and Toad have a psychic connection? Could it be where that nervous-looking shy guy was hanging around Cuberinth? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good old Waluigi spilling the beans. 
I will say though, it is kind of weird that Wario and Waluigi seem more like secret characters than they do actual relevant characters. And that's just kind of strange to me. But either way though, I guess it's time to cut to Cubrinth and check out that secret room for ourselves. All right, tell me where he's hiding. Hey, you guys. Nice f day for an adventure, huh? Yeah. Yes, a nice day for adventure. How about you go off on adventure yourself? Do not worry about your secret room. Waluigi will watch it for you. How did you know about the secret room? Waluigi knows everything. Because I'm everywhere. I'm the director of 19 Action News. So show me where the secret room is. No, no way. You leave me no choice. The bomb flabber will take out anyone who knows the secret. I had no idea where that was going. I was like, is he about to, like, start throwing bombs at us? Is he about to jump off a cliff? <laughs> like, what is happening? Hey, don't attack me. I'm the one who modified you to drop bombs in the first place. <laughs> That's what happens to those who know the secret, hmm? If you want help, you better tell me the secret now. Okay, okay, just get me out of this. You know, though, he's got a point. Like, why wouldn't you program it to not attack you? All right, Waluigi, it's time for your specialty. What? Oh, they go straight up. Oh, that is a lot of hit stun. Oh god, you just run into the green ones and they kill you. Okay, this might actually not go as well as I thought, but also, this isn't that bad because unlike the one guy, you can actually just stand under him, which maybe that's why the hit stun is so bad. Oh my god, we just blew ourselves into him. Can we get a Waluigi explosion bonus? Yeah, dude, we did it twice. Wow, the Luigi blowing you up! Hey, there we go, with one that was already mid-explosion. Let's go. And it was purple, which is interesting, because usually they're, uh, they're orange and green. <laughs> what a mess. Wow, Luigi, there's a hole in the ground! Aha! Uh -huh. The hole! Time to gravitate towards the hole in the floor that has no mother! Dang it! It was a secret! I was supposed to distract you! No! <laughs> Nobody pulls the wool over Waluigi's eyes! Waluigi found the secret room! Three cheers for Waluigi! Thank you, Waluigi! Said no one ever! Yet it's time to go into the secret room! It's a Shy Guy bar. It's a freaking Shy Guy bar. What in the world? Who cares whether you do that blazing bobsled or deluxe half pipe? What's the point of trying to get people to do missions anyway? I hear Bowser gives out money if you help him with his Olympic games. Too bad I was taking a nap when the call came. I wonder where that's going on. Man, I wish I got the job getting people into Bowser's Olympic Games. I, I heard a really nasty rumor the other day. I heard someone saying that the yellow shy guy tells the lies. Yeah, okay. I sometimes take liberties with the truth. I admit it. They're like kind of stunned to hear it said out loud. I guess I should have listened to Hero Chow and all his talk about lying being bad. The 
because maybe there's another yellow shy guy out there who's an even worse liar than me. Wait, hold up, you're leaving? What's the rush? Why not hang out a bit? Take a load off. Please, with all the shy guys here, I feel like I'm looking in a mirror all the time. Just stay here. I mean, you got some really cute princesses and, uh, a really cute, attractive monkey. I'm, I'm talking about Donkey Kong. I, I have a crush on Donkey Kong. Just don't tell the others. It'll, it'll get really weird and they'll start getting me ties. I'm reading nothing else. That is where that stops. This episode is just going to be the weirdest, um, this episode is just going to be the weirdest fan fiction ever. There you go. Yo, over there, the deluxe half pipe is ready for business. Throw a bucket of water on that bobsleigh. Who needs that? Not me, that's who. I'm telling you, the deluxe half pipe is where it's at. So we got to collect at least five coins and do a super trick and then reach the goal. Uh, this brings back terrible memories, but you know what? Waluigi did get us in here, so I think Waluigi should collect the coins and do the thing at Maple Treeway. Does this also mean that we're going to have another picture of Maple Treeway as the thumbnail? Probably not, but it would be kind of funny if I just kept doing that. Also, Waluigi's pose is just majestic, and I love it. Now I just have to remember how to do any controls here. Also, the super trick can be a little bit wonky at times. No! Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, we need two more, and we need the speed. What? Okay, that's just obnoxious. You have no time! Stop doing that! Yeah, I remember now why I hate this one. Because it gives you like two seconds to do it, and then it's like, you still have time. No, you don't. Well, they were all losing animations. So if Spins wants to do it, he can. And by that, I mean thumbnail Spins, I guess? Because that would technically be uplo uploading spins? There's just a multitude of spins that, that are up in here. <laughs> Editing spins is, is the is the main secondary one. Well, I'm, I'm the main one, I guess, because in constant of recording this, I'm always going to be present spins. Sorry, Editing spins. Just just how it is, buddy. <laughs> nothing nothing personal. But, um... But yeah, there's, there's also, like, the other spin... What the frick?! What? That? Okay. I am not a freaking cyborg. What? I hit... I hit all of the buttons. I am going to sue. Thank you for giving me the Waluigi special, which sounds like a great breakfast sandwich. <sighs> My god. Oh, in the mail time. <laughs> I will say though, even though I'm not a big Waluigi guy, that is a really great victory pose. Do we get to see the windmill again? I'm, cu I'm curious. Give me the windmill, buddy. Oh, dude, the shuffle to the ball. Why is it every single time that I have it flipped and I'm not paying attention that it's on the other screen? I don't get it and I'm getting very upset about this. It's fine. Editing spins will just have to put in more work, and I'm sorry to the viewers. Either way, though, we have Blazing Bobsled, and I'll have to pay attention to the actual screens, because for some reason, some of them start on the bottom screen, others start on the top screen. It's fine! Come in first, facing backwards? No, rotating. What does that mean? 
Wait, coming first backwards, no rotating around? I... I'm confused about what that means. I genuinely don't know. But you know what? Wario and Waluigi, let's do it. The, the duo is here, guys. I have no idea what's happening. Wait, so to control Wario and... So to control Wario, I have to use Y and A? That's really stupid. That's very stupid. Why? And why am I so fast? Oh my god. No, no, but... Oh, he's fun. Or he was dead. I'm actually not sure. Okay. Okay, everything is fine. Yeah, we got the hearts instead of crashing. So I guess the other people just retired. Yeah, see where the AR I are right now? I don't know, maybe because of the bullet bill they just had less death? I'm really not sure. But I also don't know what they mean about rotating, and that's the scary part, because I haven't done anything like that. And the only thing I can think of is, like, not spinning out, but that would also be ridiculous. So, I'm just hoping that this ends up getting it, and it ends up being pretty. I mean, the whole time we're seeing Wario's face, that is quite pretty. Oh my god, Wario how? Okay, we literally couldn't have dodged that, what do you mean? <laughs> It's like three snowmen are blocking your path. You are going to die. Okay, maybe they meant that spin attack thing? I I definitely didn't do that. I don't understand, but okay. Sure. Sure, I'll I'll take it. Uh, victory is a victory, guys. Even if it's confusing. Well, either way, though, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I think it's a good place to end it with a Shy Guy party. Look at this place. This is actually really cool, and I love the fact that the two Shy Guys outside are just so scared about you finding out about it, but then when you get in, they're all like, hey, dude, come on, stay a while. Take your coat off. Let's party. It's cool. It's very cool. But yeah, um... I enjoyed that. Being able to fight Omega was pretty cool. S getting stuck on everything with Vector, not, not, not so much. But you know what? Surprisingly, very Waluigi episode, and honestly, I like Waluigi a little bit more. It's weird. I, I, I don't really like the character that much, but after playing this now, for whatever reason, I, I kind of like him. Why? But um, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, share us out with everybody know love, brother, mother, sister, father, iguana, and I think I'm going to take a lot of relaxation because, man, my throat is, uh, it's killing me. And I now have quite a few episodes that are, that are recorded. Alright guys, hopefully I'll see you next time, which may or may not be the finale? No, no, it's, it's, no. Close. It's close, but maybe no. I, may, maybe no is the answer. All right, guys. Keep it safe. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you look over to the left, you can see the playlist for this series as well as a fun video. And if you scroll your eyes over to the right, you can subscribe to the channel as well as see a video from my archives or some such thing that I've decided to put there. Anyway, though. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys next time.